Hello, my name is Matt Lawson and I will be directing and producing the upcoming short film Scarborough. This is the first in a series of short production videos which explains the process as the film goes from pre-production, into production and finally into post-production. To start with, I'd like to tell you why I'm making this film. As a lifelong Scarborough and now Scarborough Athletic supporter, I thought that the demise of the old club, the demolition of the athletic ground on McCain Stadium and the subsequent emergence of two new clubs to represent the town of Scarborough was a fascinating story. I also thought that it was a story well worth telling on screen. I could have waited and waited for somebody to come along and produce something years down the line, or I could have taken the bull by the horns and tackled it myself, which is precisely what I decided to do. There were several considerations to take into account before taking the first steps. For example, how long would the film be? Where would it be shot? And would it entirely be factual in the form of a documentary or a more dramatic narrative with fictional elements thrown in? It was decided at an early stage that the story lent itself to a dramatic setting and therefore the film will be in the form of a short narrative film rather than purely a documentary. When I say short film, the actual length is something which hasn't quite been locked down yet but we expect it to be somewhere in the region of 30 minutes. On the 3rd of January, prior to travelling to Bridlington to watch Scarborough Athletic beat Spennymore Town, the first practical stage of pre-production took place which was to take a trip around the town of Scarborough to look for potential filming locations. At the same time, I've been working tire tirelessly alongside my screenwriter, Matthew Hirons, in completing the script. This will probably take another six to eight weeks, and it's a process of constant emails and amendments backwards and forwards until we feel that we've got the essence of the scene down in writing. The casting process is now also well underway, with over 100 applicants applying for the various roles in the film. I'll explain the casting process further in a future video, but suffice to say that it's a very time-consuming process, with so many e excellent applicants to sift through to bring the characters to life. Furthermore, we've been in conversation with Sky Sports, who have granted us permission to use archive footage of the demise of Scarborough FC, as it was reported in the news back in 2007. Despite the film involving fictional lead characters, we feel it's absolutely imperative to ground the story in reality by including as much factual information and actual archival footage as possible. There's not much else to comment on at the moment other than to thank you for watching this first blog and to make sure you follow the film's progress on the three online platforms which should be appearing on the bottom of your screen now.